All right, we're back at the DMV to register and title the boat, or I guess I'll get a temporary registration and then I'll get a title. I don't know how it works, but I got to go stand in that line in a little bit of rain for 22 minutes, and then, and then hopefully I don't know, I have everything I need. I got my checkbook, and I have my license, and I have my paperwork, so I'm going to come out smiling. All right, it only took two hours. Uh, being at my favorite place, the DMV, once again. And, oh, wait. Don't mind that. I got my application submitted for the temporary, or for the title and registration for the boat. I got my temporary registration, so I'm good to go. I think all I gotta do now is inspect the trailer, and then I'm completely legal. The pool is not working. Oh, that's a good view of Byron Pick. So it should be on. Allegedly. I don't know why this thing... He's always tripping the breaker. I've never really put any effort into trying to fix it. We just find specimen popping up in the yard. I swear I mowed now a week ago. Aren't you supposed to be eating that kind of stuff? I added doors to my shed for my mower, but I didn't make the doors so I can close them from the inside. So both doors need to be closed from the outside actually lock it up because I'm an engineer. See? You got the thingy. You're doing it all wrong. You're too smart. You're too smart. You're too smart. Hey. <laughs> this is my goat hook trimming station. It works very well. It's Saturday morning. I should probably clean up some of my crap I got laying around. Crap's organized. I took stuff from one pile and put it in another pile. That's what we do here. Doing a little organizing and cleanup today. My desk went from a big L desk in the office, which turned into the boys' room when OG moved into the boys' old room. Then we moved my desk downstairs to a big desk, bigger half of the L desk. Now it's moving downstairs to the smaller part of the L desk. So I get this little tiny area, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not using it for much. I'll figure out what to do with all this stuff. Maybe put some strings on some guitars. That'd be nice. And then this is the play area. How's it going over there, kiddo? Yeah? This back corner of my yard is soaking wet. And there's always standing water back here. I'm squishing in it right now. You can kind of see some of it. It's been 90 degrees out here consistently. We haven't had as much rain as we had in the past year. But there's still water. Uh, I think last fall, the water guys were out here and they moved the water main. They moved my meter. I'm curious if it's been leaking for a year. Oh. I guess it's all electronic and there's just standing water in there. Super cool. So I can't even find out if it's if there's a problem. Well, I mean, that kind of looks like a problem, but... You have tools? Put the baby gates back up. I put a gate up. And then I tightened the gate. It was exciting. Installed this in 2016. I have not drained it one time. I probably should do that at some point. So it doesn't you know, just die.
You like the play area all clean? What are you doing? Desk is moved downstairs. Music area is just more crammed together. I got a shelf. Desk. Hard perk. Inside's clean. And then we just got What are you putting in the oven? I was gonna try and adjust the idle up before we go out tomorrow so it stop stalling. Which I'm guessing is probably that one. But I can't find the thingy for what to put on the at their motor to make the uh, water go through it. So it doesn't overheat. It's in there somewhere. I found it. Uh, turn it up a wee little bit. I don't want to turn it up too much because it really likes the spark plugs more than anything else. So I'll do that next and then put it back down. It doesn't wait for anybody. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the thing the other day? The kid, we pulled out like 500 teeth out of him. It's Sunday morning. We left everything out dry last night and the cover off the boat so that it would dry out and pour down rain all night. <laughs> On the road to Lake Anna, first stop, gas in Southern States. I guess I have to stop again to get fuel for the boat. Although I think we can do that at the marina, so maybe we'll just do that. Say hi. Hi. Made it to the sandbar. Had our first encounter with a 5 -0. Very polite. Stalled the boat. And now we figured out why the cops are here. Someone yeah. sunk a pontoon. Yeah. Did it go up your nose? How's it going? Good. This guy knows what's up. Follow the SS Jed. All right, we just pulled back up to the dock at Lake Anna. I'm gonna get the car and the trailer. Um, everything went pretty smooth. No stalls of the boats. So that idle adjustment definitely helped. And hopefully, load goes as well as unload. Went very well, with the exception of two spinning children. Made it back from Lake Anna, our first trip out there, our second trip out on the boat. Everything went really well, it worked, it didn't die that much, like once or twice. I gotta count, stop looking at the wrong side of the phone for the camera. I keep looking over here at the dot. It's actually over here, the lens. It's weird to look at it. These three poles hold up the cover that goes over the pontoon boat. All these bolts are nice and stuck, so we're going to unstick them a little bit. Safety. First, third, safety. That's some number. This is not the right place to go. More better. That's it.